Welcome to another edition of Boyd's Big Pile of Crap. My mountain of memorabilia and memories collected during a lifetime on the road. And scattered among all the artifacts are hours of videotapes containing stories I did during my career as a journalist. Last week, I was reminded of one of those stories when I read about the passing of 92-year-old Marta Beckett a former New York City ballerina and Broadway dancer. But I met Marta in 1988 in an abandoned mining town in Death Valley, California. It's where she would spend the last 49 years of her life putting on one-woman shows in the Amagosa Opera House. Back in the day, I used to travel around the country looking for stories while driving my red 63 Coupe de Ville Cadillac convertible. Needless to say, when I met Marta at Death Valley, I knew I had the perfect subject for my Today Show series, Flying the Coop. Flying the Coop to Death Valley. Drive through at high noon any July day, and you'll know whoever named this place got it right. Out here in the desert, where a temperature of 110 is considered a cold snap, life vanishes quickly. Among the first to be swallowed up without a trace are the highbrow life forms. I was in the backyard painting a flat for some scenery one afternoon. And a neighbor walked through, followed by her eight dogs, her mutts, and she says, Marta, you don't do anything that's necessary. You paint, you dance, but the, who needs it? A land of harsh judgments, where existence is stripped down to the essentials of survival. People who find this romantic are usually those who live somewhere else, in air-conditioned homes surrounded by green grass and chrome faucets pumping out cool water people with time and money for theater going. I said to myself, if what I do is good, people will come. If it isn't good, at least I'm doing it, and that was what was important. Elvis, fresh from the grave, would have a hard time drawing an audience in Death Valley Junction. In its heyday as a borax mining town, the population peaked at 350. You come to Death Valley Junction, you better have a full tank. There's no full service here. There's no self-service. There's no service. Only two people live in the town and they're too busy to pump gas. They've got to get ready for the opera. Uh, we'll get, let me just hold the end. Okay. You got it? Some of the locals must have thought Marta Beckett was a sunstroke victim 20 years ago when she announced what this abandoned ghost town needs is an active opera house. Tom Ouellette would eventually come to work as a helper, but it was Beckett who built the sets and made the costumes and painted the walls with murals of an audience, in case a real one never showed up. She had been a professional artist and dancer in New York, a city that offered the bright lights of Broadway. Death Valley Junction offered me space and time, and the buildings are beautiful. New York offered me nothing. Out here, it was not expensive. That empty building that nobody wanted for 30 years cost only $45 a month rent. So what more can you ask? <laughs> Tom Ouellette came in pursuit of a different dream. Well, ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to live out in the middle of nowhere when I got older and just sit on a rocking chair and take it easy. Well, here I am in a deserted town taking life easy and sitting in a rocking chair. What Ouellette couldn't have imagined was getting paid to rock. But there he is in the opera house Friday nights, rocking and hamming it up. When I was a little girl, naturally I had, you know, what you'd call Hollywood's dream of a dressing room with big mirrors and lights around them and a maid, uh, flowers and stage door johnnies, and most little girls dream of that. But you're not taught in ballet school about the pitfalls and the disappointments. You're not taught about that, and even if you were, you wouldn't believe it. Maybe that's the explanation for this improbable venture. That little girl still lives in Marta, refusing to accept disappointments. 
Young girls in the privacy of their dreams and the quiet of their rooms have no trouble starring in shows. They simply write and choreograph and play all the characters themselves. And that's what Marta Beckett does in her own room, the Amagosa Opera House. No time, everybody in now. I'd never seen classical ballet until I seen Marta perform. But when I seen her perform for the, and watching classical ballet for the first time, I enjoyed it so much that I had cold chills going down my spine. I mean, is life meant just to find a job to support yourself? Or is life meant to fulfill a creative urge, uh, a love of something you wanted to do when you were a small child? For today, Boyd Matson, NBC News, flying the coop through a desert dream.